Hey guys, welcome back to my sketchbook tour. Um, it's been a super long time since I was able to film one of these, but I've been wanting to catch up with it for a past, um, the past little while, but literally we've had like no sunlight here for weeks and I always like to film these with natural light. So today we have a tiny smidge of sunlight. So um, yeah, here we are with another sketchbook. Um, as always, there is a little bit of nudity and like swearing <laughs> in this book, so that's your warning there. Um, and this is another book from when I was about 21 to 22. And yeah, let's get started. So this girl actually is um, a drawing I did for a group I used to be in. That was all of my like classmates in college and we would do like a challenge every month or so, I think. Um, but yeah, it didn't last very long as those groups usually don't. Bikini Girl, my go-to doodle. This one, um, I did a colored version of that's on my DeviantArt. Edward Scissorhands, probably my favorite Tim Burton movie. Just a random character. Random superhero type girl. I've always really liked the stuff, like the bodysuit and a jacket. Um, and then this one also, I did a colored version of. This is still um, a drawing I've done that I really like. Random characters. And this is still in that phase where I I just drew like one big drawing per page instead of like lots of smaller ones. Uh, Hermione, Harry Potter. That's supposed to be Hogarth from The Iron Giant. Another one of my favorite movies. Um, random character. I don't remember if I colored that or not. I feel like it is on my DeviantArt, but maybe not a full coloration. That's my character main. Um, this one also I colored in Photoshop and it has like a background. Um, so I'll link my DeviantArt down below. Um, this is one of my boyfriend's drawings. There's a few of his in here. That one as well. This one is mine. Um, this I actually remember really well. These are little thumbnails I did for an animation I was working on. At this point I had graduated and I had started my career, so um, I worked for about eight months doing um, character builds for a show called The Secret World of Benjamin Bear, and it was in Flash, and then I moved on to being an animator once all the builds were done. Um, and the way the characters worked in this show was that we used the builds for their body and head and face, but then we hand drew all the the arms, legs, and um, their little like mitten hands and feet. And yeah, that was really cool. Um, it's a really like enjoyable hybrid for animators to do that, I think. For most people anyway. And this scene, I was animating um, a bear like swinging and jumping off a rope, or like falling off a rope, I guess, into a pond and then he has to like swim and pop up and I'd never ever animated anything swimming so uh, it actually turned out like kind of nice um, but yeah it was tough it was tough um, learning the you know the ropes with flash and like learning on the job and stuff can be frustrating but it's a good experience at the same time this one is some thumbnails I did for my friends who wanted me to do like a character type 
mascot logo thing for his company that he never like followed through on and he wanted the character to look like Hollywood from Cool Worlds. I don't know if you guys have seen that. It's like a Roger Rabbit style movie with like live action combined with cartoons. Um, so these look like some photo drawings. I know this one for sure I did from a photo on DeviantArt that's it's credited there. And I did it again, and I think I did a colored version of that. I don't know who that is, but it's probably off DeviantArt as well. DeviantArt was still big at this time. It was before like Twitter and Tumblr and Instagram existed. It's another photo drawing, I think. I think at this time I, I would come home from work and um, try to get like a couple sketchbook drawings in because I didn't want my my skill to go at that time. Um, this one is my classmate's character, like her original character. And just a random character. If anyone's wondering what these are, I don't remember if I ever mentioned this. In, I probably did in, in one of my sketchbook tours, but just again, um, these colored pencils that I draw in sometimes are called colorase. Um, I don't know why, but my students, <laughs> my students of this current generation don't really like them, but we always swore by them. We thought they were like the coolest thing ever. Um, they're like a nice, nicely textured colored pencil. And the idea is that you can also erase them, but some of the colors, um, you can't really erase all that well. Like this color is pretty hard to erase, like the darker colors. And some, I don't know, anatomy practice, I guess. And these are really bad drawings. <laughs> this is my little character from my film in college. And this is something I like to just do it a lot. It's like little animation thumbnails of, for him. Like if you run your eyes across, you can kind of see the movement there. And then this, <laughs> I don't know why I did such a bad drawing, but we had a design teacher who used to like write in red on our stuff. So like, everything that was wrong so I kind of was like doing that to myself here. Ear is huge, fruity hair, small forehead, which is true. Eyes are too big, yeah they look demented. Nose and mouth not proportional, please add structure to the face. This is garbage. <laughs> um, yeah, I actually recommend making notes to yourself, maybe not like going this crazy with it, but uh, if you're just doing studies or practicing in your sketchbook, it, there's no harm in, in writing down something to like remind you not to do it in the future because um, writing down something actually helps you to remember. That might be a photo sketch, I'm not sure. I think the next few are my boyfriend's drawings again, like this one is. That one is... These ones are mine, obviously. Really scary hands and arms and arms. Uh, these are his drawings again. His drawings and notes. This one says... I don't know if I'm zooming in on the right spot, but Utada tomorrow. We're going to see Utada tomorrow. So this is really old. This is when um, I went to see Utada Faro in New York City. Um, this is another one I did a color on in Photoshop with like more of a background and stuff. And yeah, I like this one still too. I think that's a pretty nice drawing. Um, I really like doing these like stylized horses like this. I should try to do those again, actually. I don't know what pencil this is. I don't usually use these. This is like looks like a very soft lead. Uh, 
Uh, anyone who's studied Japanese, you can see I write like a four-year-old. <laughs> at least at this time. I don't know if I've gotten any better. I'm 100% sure I was still in Japanese class at this time. My last video, I mentioned that I, I was taking Japanese at a... It was at a private school after I finished college. And yeah, I took that for a year. And these are some more of my boyfriend's drawings. And some more boobies. <laughs> a photo too. It's another one of his drawings. Oh, that one actually has a date on it. So 2010. So this sketchbook probably started in 2009. And that's, he took my last page. Wow. Okay. So that was the end of that book. Yeah, actually, let me know in the comments, you guys, if you prefer these videos to have music in them or not. Um, I actually only have one more finished book to show you, which I'm going to film now so I can, you know, utilize the natural light. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tour and I will see you in the next video.